The countdown is on for five former Shogun Buffet employees who were arrested during an immigration raid last year. Several of those workers face deportation this Wednesday, but they're fighting with voices of support to stop it. And today they took their case to the office of Senator Kay Hagan. Chanting for Senator Kay Hagan to listen to them, supporters of the Shogun Five wait as others ask to be heard by Hagan's office. I'm going to have to ask the uh, the cameras to stay out here. Returning to an excited crowd, one of the Shogun Five tells us what happened. And what they told us was that in these remaining two days that are left, they're going to see if Hagen will call immigration. And if the five people who were arrested during an immigration raid at Shogun Buffet don't get help, they say they'll return Tuesday. Si no hacen nada, vamos a regresar mañana. And because Woo! What I told him is if they don't do anything, then we will be back tomorrow. They don't believe Hagen has done enough to plead their case to immigration. What she's only done is only called to uh, inquire about their cases, but she hasn't taken a stand, and that's what we're asking for. They say the senator has spoken out for comprehensive immigration reform. She hasn't done anything for that, and she's also not taking any stand for people who are being deported. Three face deportation this Wednesday, including this woman who says she'll leave behind a sick husband and face terrible conditions in El Salvador. And I'm afraid to return to El Salvador. Por las pandillas. Because of the gangs. Porque ellos le exigen dinero. Because they demand money. O nos secuestran. Or they kidnap us. O matan a nuestras familias. Or they kill our family members. It's really frustrating to see that people, well, we've been waiting for such a long time for her to take a stand. I mean, she is the senator of North Carolina, and we have to, a lot of times, call other senators and other states to take action, and we can't count on our own senator. And Senator Hagan's office responded by saying it is the office's policy that we do not comment on any individual constituent case. In general, Senator Hagan supports prioritizing the use of the federal government's limited resources on those individuals who pose a risk to national security or public safety.